All right. All right, hey everybody, so glad that you are here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to participate in the very last session of Four Day Build and Monetize Your Global Empire. I'm your host, your teacher, your trainer, your supporter, Dr. Anita Jackson, founder and CEO of the Unlimited Woman Alliance. Today, we are going to do a little bit of a recap of everything you've learned over the past uh, three days. And I'm going to talk about the monetizing your business. What are the eight top monetizing models, that's such a tongue twister there, or at least for me, um, so that you can be aware of what models are out there, you know, how do you use them, what are the samples, What's the investment? What's the level of profitability? What's the implementation? And can you leverage it? What are those components of each of these models to help you decide which model it best works for your business or which ones you want to add on or make some adjustments or maybe use all of them? I realize as I'm going through all of these different um, models that I have almost every single one of them as a part of my own business. And they come at different times because I've got the actual schedule to work. So hopefully what you have learned throughout the past four days have really, or three days at least, and today has uh, given you a deeper level of insight of how to build your business, not just have a program and not just have a product, but really build your business so that you can be more profitable. And in being profitable, you live your highest and best version of the life that you want to live and you make a bigger impact in your family, the community, and the world. So with that, again, I just want to say thank you for your time, your energy, and, um, and I hope that you're interested in participating in what we'll be offering at the end. Okay, so let's get started. So let's kind of go through a recap very, very quickly. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to run through this to basically help you remember what we've talked about over the past three, four days. So what is a Fempire? Again, a Fempire is a profitable business or organization run by a woman using feminine principles that has several services as well as uh, revenue streams and has a great impact in the community and industry it serves. And throughout this whole entire time, we talked about the seven pillars to building your foundation, I'm sorry, to building your Fempire. Obviously, we talked about you. This is the number one, probably the most important aspect of your business. And this is all about you building your foundation. This is you looking at your thoughts, your beliefs, your values, your non-negotiables, your boundaries, your time, your energy, your money, your relationships, your belief systems. All of who you are plays a huge part, is the foundation, is the stability. It's what's going to create the longevity of you being successful in your personal life as well as in your business. The second pillar that is just as important as the first pillar is your infrastructure. And if you'll remember, that was a really long session because there are all these little different pieces to creating a strong infrastructure for your business. And that the best way to create that is by creating your own um, empire. I'm sorry, uh, your uh, own strategic plan. Having a strategic plan that communicates everything that you will be doing, what you'll be accomplishing, um, who you are really in your business just as well. And then of course we talked about pillar three being your power and leadership, pillar four, your visibility and positioning, Pillar five, your offerings, your services, your products, and pricing. I didn't go into pricing a lot that day, only because I really want to talk about it today. Um, and hopefully this will support you more. There's a lot more I can say, so I just kind of allude to it in today's session. But what I share with you will really help you understand how to monetize your business at a much higher level than probably normal. Um, and then pillar six was testimonials and case studies. Um, and pillar seven being building your team and your partnership. So again, today we're going to be talking about monetizing your business. So monetizing your business is basically a systematic approach with actionable steps to selling your products, programs, and services that makes you a profit. So it is, the, it is really a systemized, systematic approach, a step-by-step -step approach that you have in selling your products, your programs, your services that makes you a profit. That's the ultimate goal. The goal for any business is to not only make an impact, and I think so often those of us who are more heart-centered, we have a tendency to believe that we're just supposed to make an impact in the heart and minds and the souls of other people, which is absolutely great. And nine times out of 10, yes, you are most definitely here on this planet to change, be a part of the solution, I'll say it that way. Yet, at the same time, you have a right 
a divine right at that to actually make a profit that helps you live your best life because sometimes it's not about what you say it's also about what you do so how you show up and how you're living your life can be a huge impact on someone else's and then you can pour and speak into their life just as well through what you um your your pro products programs and your services a little bit tongue tied there okay so very quickly these are the i think the top eight models, business models out there that can be used or typically is used within the coaching industry that has a high profitability, meaning these are the particular models that can make you the most money. And, and within each of these models are other models that can support it to help you go to a whole nother level. And then at the end, very, very briefly, because I probably could do a whole nother class on just the last two bonuses alone, is affiliate marketing. I probably should have also included digital marketing, um, which I kind of allude to in the online courses. And then of course, a membership model. So let's get into each one. Again, everything that you've learned throughout this whole entire four day build and monetize your global empire is really a framework. It's just, you're basically getting the, the, the top layer of actually building a strong business for yourself. And if you don't have a background as a business person or you haven't been trained or you haven't been working with a business coach, then this uh, hopefully gives you a good insight into what you should at least be paying attention to, but hopefully you'll make a decision to connect with a business coach or myself to really help you peel back the layers and get specifically intentionally detailed about each and every component of your business so that you can actually pivot and, and come out of this whole quarantine, come out of this whole pandemic experience feeling really grounded about what your business is all about, who you're going to be serving, how you're going to be serving it, and everything else that comes along with being a profitable, lucrative, and impactful business. So one of the models that I think that most of you may not have, or at least I see this with a lot of coaches, that they don't have this as a part, but it's a huge, uh, I don't know if I want to say huge, but it's a powerful, that's probably a better word, a powerful component to add to your business and that is the done for you services. Um, we're basically you're offering services to, to someone else to help them build their business or their products. So obviously a few types of these services are graphic designers, um, web designers, publishing, in-house chef, or a personal trainer, and I'm sure the list can go on, but it gives you an idea of the potential of what can happen here. So for me, um, you could say that AMJ Productions is a done for you service because what happens is you come to us with your manuscript and we do all of everything else that needs to be done to help you actually get your book um, completed and then distributed to the world so that you can actually show your brand new message and your business in a larger way. So um, another done for you services that we offer, or at least I'm adding on to one of my high level coaching packages is being able to say, hey, I am now collaborating with other businesses or independent contractors and putting their services as a part of my package so that I'm working with an individual from the beginning to the very end of their whole entire business. That means we're helping them maybe not only create the strategic plan, but we're helping them actually create a high level of visibility for themselves. So actually getting a book done, launching their um, podcast, helping them create at least one to two click funnels or a profitable funnel for themselves, depending upon which direction they want to go, um, and then helping them create a, a few other products and their online digital program. So now that I've got this in place and I've mapped this out, I can offer this package at a high level to someone who says, I'm entering into the coaching world. I want to do it on this particular topic. I don't know how to put my whole business together. And I can say, hey, we, I've got a whole entire package that does all of that for you. So you get all the kind of support you need to actually moving into your next level and actually being successful because now you've got the sales team, you've got the marketing team, you've got the graphics team, you've got the publishing team, you've got the product, uh, uh, <laughs> tongue tied the uh, production uh, teams, the publishing team, you got the production team, you've got everything you need in this particular coaching package to help you not only create the business that you want, but then actually position yourself as an expert because all of those things that you need to really show up in your brand, your message in your business is either done for you uh, according to what you really want and how you're gonna be extremely successful in your personal life and your business. 
So for the done for you type of services, um, the investment tends to be a little bit higher, which that basically means is hopefully you have skills, there's uh, software, there's computers, there's all these other elements that you need to help you fulfill this particular service for your client and or being in partnership with someone else. So for example, let's say I contact a graphics designer and say, hey, what package can you create for me that offers my client to have, um, let's say, several memes, they get a, a social media packet that's included in that, they get the website branding that's included in that, they get an ebook that's included in that, they get the their book design in, uh, included, um, their audio book des in design included, all of those different pieces of what they need to really show up in their brand message and business can be designed by the graphics designer. So say she says, okay, for something like that, Anita, it's gonna cost you $6,000. Well, I just add that $6,000 into my coaching packet. So when someone pays me and we're ready to actually implement that component, then I know this amount of money goes to that particular person. I'm gonna pay them for their service based on the packets that we've agreed on. And then that's now used as a part of me providing a done for you service. Now, the beautiful thing about this is if you have this as a part of your business, depending upon what type of business you have and, and how extensive the packages or the services you offer, the profitability is pretty high, which is why I gave it a five star. Implement, implementation really comes from basically your skills and your knowledge. The more skilled and the more knowledgeable you feel you are in being able to provide these services, the higher you make a bigger impact in the world or in the, uh, the business of other people around the world. So for example, I feel like I can do publishing with my eyes closed because I've been doing it for so long and I've really studied the nature of it and it keeps changing. The publishing industry keeps changing, but luckily I'm still ahead and I'm a part of um, a very large association that helps me stay ahead of the time in knowing what is really taking place in the publishing industry. So because I've got a huge publishing team behind me, it's really easy for me to sit down with somebody and walk them through the whole publishing process fairly easily and be able to make a really good profit for myself because I know the various steps to do that. Now, the beautiful thing about our publishing company is if anyone on this particular program or anyone in this program decides, hey, I want to launch my own publishing company, how do I go about doing that? You could reach out to me and we can say, great, we can now actually support you in um, creating your own publishing company. So now it's a, another division underneath me. So for example, let's say someone on here decides that they want to be a publisher for children's book, which is right now a huge, huge need for a children's book within the publishing industry. Well, then that person gets all the training, gets all the wisdom that I have, gets all the forms, all of those beautiful things that I have to help them be successful in their business. They get that. And then we talk about how to leverage it, how they make money. Then I make a little bit of money. They make money. And then we just help the client or our authors make money just as well. So in order for the leverage of this type of done-for-you service to work, you really have to... Um, I guess the best way to describe it is you have to really know who you're in partnership with and know that your services can be transferable to another person fairly easy. Nine times out of 10, most of it takes specialized skills, specialized knowledge, and you may not have the ability to you know, partner with someone else. So that's why I gave it actually a one. I said it's low in regards to leveraging it unless you identify which particular category or service can work really well. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, so the second one, oops. Hi to all of you new ladies who've just joined us. I see a few of you have just joined in. Glad to have you here. Um, we're going over all the different monetization models for coaching specifically. Okay, so the second model is the one-to-one -one coaching and consultation. I think most of us already know that nine times out of 10, a lot of coaches use this. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, I love the one-on-one. -on -one coaching process and I love intensives. Intensives are usually one to two days, typically no longer than that. Each day is about four, maybe six hours at a time. You know, rarely, it depends upon the person that you're working with and depends upon, you know, how grounded they are. Like for me, I can handle a six hour intensive 
very, very easily. And if anything, I could probably even go longer just because of the fact that when I'm in that kind of environment working with my high level coach, my mind is processing and getting downloads and getting revelations so much that it's easy for me to put all that kind of stuff together. But maybe for a new client, they may not have the bandwidth. And if you're doing the kind of deep internal work that's causing them to release a lot, which is usually why we suggest if you're going to do some sort of intensive, two days typically are much better than one days. So if you're going to have both your one days, let that be for those higher functioning really clear kind of clients because like myself they can walk into a one day get the information that they need and keep moving on pretty quickly whereas a two-day intensive allows you to usually the first day you're gathering information if you haven't already set up a powerful um, onboarding welcoming process so for example i actually have um, all of my coaching clients complete uh, two quest assessments and a huge workbook um, that lets me really see where they're thinking, where they're feeling, and it helps them too because it asks quite a few questions um, and there are several pages at that to help them really look at what am I thinking about myself? What am I thinking about my business? How much money do I want to make? So when they complete all of these different assessments, I get the opportunity to review it so I can know how to really show up and to best support them in accomplishing their goals during that intensive. So um, you want to, you just have to decide based on where you are in your own business, what type of intensive really works. So typically, again, they're one days or two days between four to six hours. And typically, most intensives are ranging between 2,500 to 5,000 because they're short periods of time. But you, I have seen some go as high as 15,000 depending upon who you're working with. So for example, Allie Brown, that's she's my, probably my second, I have two coaches that I'm focusing on they're on my uh, vision board and saying, these are my eight fig seven figure, eight figure coaches that I want to work with. And Allie Brown is one of them and her minimum package is 15,000. And, and rightfully so, the woman is a genius. <laughs> She's just brilliant when it comes to consulting. And if anyone can really get you, and she only really works with high six figure, seven figure, eight figure business owners. She no longer works with anyone below that. Um, that's just a decision that she's made, and rightfully so, because of the fact that those who work with her tend to step into that particular or those particular categories very quickly. So even for yourself, if you're going to price it, you probably want to stay between twenty-five to five thousand. Keep it right there until you start working with different types or higher types of clients. Now, if you are one who feels you can easily um, attract someone who's willing to pay you that $15,000, by all means, charge it. <laughs> but nine times out of 10, I will tell you that moving from twenty five to $15,000 has a lot to do with your skill, your talent, and your confidence, and what you've learned, and the, the different developmental transformational processes that you yourself are going to go through to the point that you can say, I know that I can charge this um, amount because I know I've got the talents and the skills and I know I bring that kind of level of transformation to my clients. So for example, I sit between five to $10,000 using my intensives are right in there. If it's a single day, it's 5,000. If it's a two day, it's 10,000. And then within that time frame, usually uh, if, if it's virtual, there's a different price point, obviously. But if it's face to face, it's in those um, price points because I'm taking them to a high level, beautiful um, hotel and I'm using part of the funds that they pay to cover their cost. I don't cover their travel, so their flights, that's on them, but their hotel arrangements, um, I make all those um, arrangements for them and whatever other special packages that are included in that because I really want them to um, be in an environment that's going to change them energetically, that's going to change them in their wealth consciousness, that's going to change the way they see themselves and increase their deservability so that they can actually open up their ability to receive more for their personal life and for their business. So the implementation level is a five star. And the reason why I say that is because you really need to have a great deal of skills for yourself. You need to have a lot of um, learning for yourself. I in, uh, believe, maybe that's the best way to say, it, you should also increase your... I don't necessarily think you need to be like I am licensed and have all the different types of degrees underneath your name, but what can powerfully position you if you're going to offer VIP intensives is making sure that you're certified somewhere. 
having some sort of certification because then that will help you qualify at a higher level to charging a higher fee. You don't need it, please hear me, you don't have to have it, but it definitely will help. Um, and the reason why I gave it a one star for levels durability, because nine times out of 10, you're not gonna bring anyone else on an intensive. You're not gonna have any other coach come in and talk to your client. You don't want that. You want that one-on-one -on -one between you and someone else, so the level durability of it is pretty low. Okay, and then let's go to number three. So number three is speaking. And it's probably one of the best and the number one way to really take your business to the next level. For 20, the latter part of 2018 and 2019, my entire business was on uh, speaking. All I did was speak, whether it was podcast or um, TV, online TV, and I did a lot of speaking at events. Like I was actually doing networks. I was uh, speaking at uh, women's events and retreats and uh, conferences. Those was what I was doing the most. So I was traveling quite a bit, going to the conferences. And of course, at each conference, I had the opportunity to sell whatever package. So based on what that particular conference was offering, I would create a package that I could sell at that event. And so the thing that I sold the most at almost every single event was publishing. Why? Because nine times out of 10, I was the only publisher there. And so those packages sold pretty much every single time. So helping someone really take their message and getting it done, which is one of the reasons why I said earlier on the done for you services is you wanna be thinking in your business um, can I offer something outside of my program that actually positions me as having a more holistic approach to really supporting someone and being successful in their personal life and in their business? So teaching someone how to have their own podcast or teaching someone how to set up their online um, business courses or teaching someone how to get published can be really powerful additional revenue streams for your business because they are typically ongoing. You can get clients in that on a regular basis. And so speaking that you have these other services will powerfully support you. Hopefully that makes sense. So it really is in speaking, you're sharing your brand, your message in your business through various platforms. Speaking gigs include like I have here, network events, meetup. I don't know if enough coaches are using meetup. I used meetup for about a good six months, almost eight months, um, to build um, a couple of my online uh, programs and definitely got individual clients from having my own meetup, not only attending meetup groups, but also having my own meetup group. And what a lot of people don't know is meetup has a brand division, which, or I'm sorry, it's a pro division that allows you to actually have a brand meetup group and you can have multiple groups underneath that one brand so now you have multiple groups in different locations and then um, that gives you more visibility and then once we get back to a place where we can actually come together face to face again i'm going right back to meetup and relaunching um, my groups and then i'm going to be partnering with uh, staples staples has in california only right now um, they haven't done it in any other state what they call spotlight centers spotlight centers are basically um, a section within Staples, sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed, where you actually can have a meetup group to up to 40 people to come to that event, whether it's free or paid, and they will promote and market your meetup group on a regular basis for you to their community. So they send out direct mail, they have emails, they have social media, they're on all these different platforms where they will promote and market your actual meetup group if you are using their facility. For, so for those of you who are coaches, when we get back to a place where we can actually start um, connecting again face-to-face, -face, I would highly encourage you to launch your own meetup group ASAP and use Staples. Find out if Staples, because I know that they do want to do it, you know, um, uh, globally, wherever they are, I guess it's international, I don't know if it's global, um, nationally, so that every single state has every single state that has a Staples offers a spotlight center. Right now it's only in California and it's mostly in Southern. They do have a few in Northern. So just check out your um, local area to see if they have one. If not, then people should look at um, libraries or community centers. Believe it or not, they don't charge a lot for those particular locations. 
and that can support you in launching your own group. And then of course you give more marketability. So the investment in that can be pretty low. Um, in, in, in addition, well, the investment can be low and it also can be high depending upon what you need to help you market yourself. So for example, if you're speaking at an event, you definitely wanna have a vendor table. So depending upon the speaking host, they may not charge you to have a vending table, then they may charge you to have a vending table and that can range between a, a pay to play kind of opportunity where you may have to pay just $500. And I know I've been invited to speak at different events where the cost was $6,500 to speak at that event. So you're just gonna have to depend and, and be prepared for that. I will tell you this, the larger the group is, the higher, or the larger the group is, the more experienced the speakers are, the higher the probability is you're gonna to have to pay to play. And just be prepared for that. And uh, in a lot of ways, it could work for you. So for example, uh, should I mention that? No, I don't think I can. I'll leave that alone. So uh, I was able to speak at a large event and, um, Luckily in that situation, I didn't have to pay, but it opened up so many opportunities for me and the connections that I was able to make from that, I'm actually gonna be utilizing that in an upcoming summit because of all the different successful people that I met because I was a part of the speaking team. Hopefully that makes sense. So speaking can really take your business to a whole nother level. So for those of you who are on this call, if I were you, I would make speaking a priority and not just on Facebook Live, but doing your own master classes and seeking out um, as many podcast hosts as you possibly can, because I promise you most of them are looking for guest experts to interview. So what you can do is go onto the various podcast platforms and look at the various shows and find out if any of these shows um, are offering topics that you can speak to. And if you send them your speaker sheet nine times out of 10, if they feel that you're a good match, they're gonna invite you to be on their website or on their show. Um, believe it or not, that's how I've gotten on a lot of shows. And then right now, I don't have to really send out my speaker sheet anymore because I get requests pretty much every single month. There hasn't been a month yet in the past probably two years that I haven't done some sort of speaking, whether it's a podcast, radio, TV, and radio, by the way, is live, podcast is pre-recorded, and then online TV, and then um, main events of some sort. Okay, so with that being said, let me stop for a minute. Hi, ladies, let me see, are there any questions? Because I know that that was a lot in and of itself. No questions, since I can't see your face and so you're not responding, I will keep going, okay. Good, 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 let's go here. All right. So to move on, let's go to, um, and feel free, even if you can't see me right now and you're just looking at the screen, feel free if you have a question, you can just interrupt me. So like I probably should have said that earlier on so I can make sure that this is clear for you. And then again, at the end of our time together, I will open up for Q and A. So if you have any questions, this will support you. So then the next model, model number four is small group coaching, which basically means five to 10 people. You can do more if you want to, that's really up to you. But um, these types of uh, groups, the smaller groups tend to be a little bit more impactful. So what kind of groups are those? Those are intensive. So you can have a small group intensive. Um, I wouldn't go any higher than 10 if you're gonna do an intensive, because usually an intensive is a weekend. So let's say it's a three day, maybe it's a Thursday afternoon, all day Friday, all day Saturday, or it's Friday afternoon, all day Saturday, all day and half day Sunday. If you're gonna do kind of a uh, intensive or a boot camp or a retreat, <laughs> and then that can support you. I'm actually gonna talk a little bit more about retreats because um, I don't know, if, I think my personal opinion that once we get out of this quarantine, more people, more women are gonna want the retreat experience. So this would be really powerful to add as a part of your strategic plan for September and the next year. Having maybe a retreat a quarter, every single quarter may behoove you to really understand how to use this. And I'll talk a little bit more about it when we get there. 
Okay, so group settings can be really powerful. You can make quite a bit of money depending upon your pricing. And usually you could price a group from, you know, $997 at the low end up to $2,500, $3,500, $5,000, um, or even up to $10,000, or now I won't say $10,000. Usually I think the highest I've seen is about $5,000. But then depending upon how many people you have in your group, if you have a ten thousand uh, dollar group program for let's say three to six months, and you've got ten people, you've just made out of that group um, ten. Ten is a hundred thousand. There you go. <laughs> if I, my, my math was horrible for a second. Anyways, I think you understand the, the, how to use that in a very powerful way. The profitability of it is pretty high. The implementation is fairly simple. Um, one of the things that I would encourage you to do is at least have a part-time assistant who can support you so that you can focus on really being present with your uh, clients who attend a small group, whether it's online or live, and you include some sort of a, let's say you do a six-month small group intensive, and then every second month, so three sessions, you have some sort of a live event. You want to have an assistant there who can do all the behind the scenes administrative stuff. And then while you are staying connected in building that relationship with your client and being able to print the, present the content at the event if you choose to do it that way. There really is no, I guess I could say here, there really is no right or wrong way to doing a group, but the most effective groups um, are the ones where you are really selective about the people who are joining the group. You're very clear about what the overall outcome of the, the group session is going to be. And you're very clear about the benefits that your clients are going to receive from participating in this particular group with you. Okay, then the large groups, obviously, it just makes sense to have a large group. And large groups can be um, from 20 people to... I think the highest I have ever seen in a large group program, coaching program, was 189 women. It was in the art of feminine magic, which was teaching you how to manifest by, um, she no longer does this class, uh, Elizabeth Purvis. She had 198 women in that program. It was an eight-week program. I learned so much. I met some amazing women in there that I'm still connected to to this day. And usually that's what these large groups are all about. They're individual women or members who have their own goals, but they come together because they have a common goal or common values or common intentions to develop and mastery in a particular um, subject matter during a particular or a certain time frame. So that particular course, The Art of Feminine Magic, um, was an eight-week course, and we had the online course, and then we had a Facebook group where we were coming together and having conversations and sharing our takeaways and sharing our challenges and all those kind of things. And then, of course, uh, Elizabeth was coming in and doing additional training throughout the group, and her coaches were coming in and giving support throughout the group and it really helped every single person develop the mastery that they needed and actually learning how to manifest from the feminine divine or the divine feminine whichever one works so um, it could be groups and these are some other types of masterminds accountability groups mastermind or master classes like this one um, academies you know if you have an academy as a part of your business or a membership group typically the investment range is about 5,000 depending upon if you're doing it virtually or live, it can be a little bit less, it could be a little bit more. It depends upon the platforms you're using, it depends upon if you're creating products to be sold there. So this, the, the investment can change depending upon what you're gonna be doing. So for example, let's just say for me, um, I, uh, in my next group, if I do a large group, I want to have the online system in place, which we now have the system that can do it. So that means actually designing the website, designing the uh, membership component of the website, and creating all the videos, creating all the products. All of that together will probably run me about six to $8,000 because I'm gonna hire some people to do stuff that even though I probably could do it all by myself, I don't want to <laughs> at this point of my life. So that means I have to invest in hiring someone to do those things for me. And it's gonna be within that range um, from the, the, the companies or the individuals that I choose to hire to help me create that for myself. Um, and then the profitability is pretty high because if depending upon the large groups, 
large group coachings can definitely be an eight week process if you want to. And nine times out of 10, the larger, uh, do I want to say that? Let me say this first before I say that. Right now, within the coaching industry, there's a new technique called the live launch method, which is kind of like you're doing a webinar, but you're doing it live through a Facebook group um, at the same time. You're seeing a lot of those kind of challenges being taking place right now. So it's five days to this, seven days to that, four days to this, kind of like even this particular process is a, 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 a lower version of a live launch method. And the only reason why this is a little different is because there's so much content that I'm sharing in here that I chose to do it as a PowerPoint presentation rather than just have it as me, you just look at my face and I'm giving you information that way. But at the same time, at the very end of this, we are having this dialogue back and forth. And so the live launch method is becoming a huge hit right now. And if you're wanting to look into it, um, I would say reach out to or look into Kelly Roach, R-O-A-C-H, Kelly Roach. She is the developer of the live launch method. I think she's probably the best at it. Um, I've heard of other people who've taught it, but she has really broken in it down to a science and has done really well. And so one of the key things she says about doing a live launch method is you should never, ever use it until you have at least about 200 people, 150 to 200 people, 300 is best because that's what's going to increase your profitability depending upon if you follow her method. And so um, I have done it a couple of times and I've actually seen it work, not at the level that I want it to, but it's definitely worked. So this is one of the methods that I want to be using on a regular basis and taking it to the next level. So that, that's a resource that you guys can look into. And so what she says is the live launch method is kind of the introductory process that moves you or moves that client into a membership process. And then once you get them in the membership level, that's when you have a high profitability because the more people you put into this particular membership process, the better that it, it works for you. Um, implementation, five-star. Leveraging is really five-star too because this is an opportunity for you to invite other coaches to be a part of your community. You can create that joint venture partnership where you can say, hey, if you participate in my particular group, I'll participate in yours. It gives her exposure to your community gives you exposure to her community. So there's a lot of leverageability in there that can actually help you get more clients to participate in your group. Okay. Um, model number six is retreats. I said earlier, I was gonna talk a little bit more about this because I think it's one you should probably pay attention to once we get out of quarantine and make sure this is, and I would suggest making them smaller retreats, not the larger ones. And they don't have to be um, destination, like you don't have to go to Bali or, uh, Greece or Hawaii, although those are beautiful, you could do a retreat right in your own location, have people come to you. <laughs> and then, for example, one of the things that I want to do uh, next year really, really, really badly is to do a retreat in Arizona. Um, particularly, there are two different locations out there. I, I've gone to retreats there and loved them. And so I want to have two retreats uh, at those particular locations. I'm just working and waiting for the download on what would I do the retreat on. So a retreat usually are best used for personal and corporate reset opportunities and to activate a higher level of human and or corporate potential. So these individuals are coming with you to slow down, to go a little bit deeper within and to really get some breakthroughs. That's what I usually focus on a retreat. A retreat is about a breakthrough. It's about a reset. It's about an opportunity to pivot, get out of where you were and move them into their next level. And of course, they can always be themed based and the, the investment um, can be high because you're actually having to rent the location, but the profitability of that can be high too, depending upon how you price it. So most retreats are usually 3,500 and above if you're gonna do really well. And the more intimate the retreats are, the better, meaning um, smaller groups tend to do better than larger groups. So if you're having a retreat, keep it like at least maybe 15. The highest retreat that I've attended, mm, that's not true. I've done a church retreat where we had about 60 women. Um, 
the first time I went, I was a participant. The second time I went, they actually made it smaller because they did realize it was too large to really deal with the breakthroughs and the breakdowns that a lot of the members were having. So retreats should be smaller. I would say probably no more than 20 women are gonna be really powerful. Now, the one that changed my life the most was through an organization called Braveheart. And they had four series of retreats back to back. And each retreat took you through a particular type of process. That thing changed my life. <laughs> I lost tons of weight during that particular process. I probably made more money than I'd ever made in my life. I got huge promotions for my business because it was resetting me at a much, at a really deep, deep level. And right now I just found out that they're actually certifying people to go through it. And I am strongly considering um, becoming a certified facilitator for their method because of the transformational process that I went through. When I reached out to the person who told me that, she's pretty much screamed. I said, oh my God, you'd be great because you were one of our top people who did have such a huge breakthrough at that event. So you could create these re retreats based on your own content that really allows you to go deeper in helping someone shift into the next level of their life. So the investment can be high. The profitability is definitely high, particularly if you try to create these re retreats because I think a lot of coaches think maybe having one a year, but I would suggest you have one every quarter and have your little mini retreats, maybe three days, four days at the most. And um, depending upon where you have them there, and if you have retreats on a regular basis and you're working with the same location, they will give you a discount. And if you're needing support, one of the things that I've done is I work with my, one of my best friends, um, her name is Laura Garza, if you're interested in connecting to her letter now, but she is, has been in the hotel retreat industry, event planning industry for over 40 years and can work a deal out of nobody's business. So she knows how to have the, con the conversation. She knows, how, she knows how to negotiate. She knows how to help you create the experience that is worth the value of your client paying you 35, 5, 10, 20, whatever amount of money you're gonna be charging for your retreat. What I'm saying is you can either work with Laura Garza, of course, or just finding someone who is, there's a difference between an event planner and an event producer. What I have noticed is event producers tend to create a higher level of experience um, within my event than working with just a planner, just something you should know. And one day I'll have her actually have her come in very soon. I think she's actually supposed to do it this month where um, she's going to come in as a guest speaker and talk about, hey, this is the perfect time to start focusing on creating your events and your retreats. And here's what you need to know so that you can actually be successful and make the kind of money and the profitable, uh, make the kind of money that you want and make the kind of impact that you want. Okay, we have two more to go. Um, model number seven is online courses. I think all of you know the power and the benefit of this. And what is an online course? Basically, it's your content that's being delivered through series of lessons to a web browser or a mobile device to be conveniently accessed um, anytime or any place. That's typically what an online course is. Um, I am right now compiling all of the things that I've done, all the courses that I've done, and looking at, can I create this into an one themed based online program? And luckily, yes, I can, which is why I'm launching the Power Her Success Academy. Now, the power of creating an academy is I can also promote other individuals within my academy. Think of it like a university. My course or all the courses that I have for the academy are your core courses with the universe, university. And then um, any other expert I invite to offer a course within the academy are electives. And so the leverageability means I'm giving more value to the academy because not only am I offering fantastic content, I'm also bringing other experts in to offer content that maybe I didn't touch on. So for example, let's say I um, invited someone who really is strong when it comes to um, branding. Since I'm not gonna talk about branding at the level that she is, we can actually offer her course, course her core, course 
in our academy and we can include that price point in there and that is becomes a benefit to her i pay her forehead or i become an affiliate of her program which is typically the best way to go so then i create a different stream of income so for the the particular experts that i've invited to be a part of the academy i have gone to and say are do you have an affiliate um, program as part of your business so far most of them do i sign up i ask them what program does this whatever it is that they do and then i sell that program within my program and they, they make money and I make money at the same time. Hopefully that made sense. Um, nine times out of 10, if you're going to do an online program, you really want to have a strong platform that can handle every aspect of you promoting your business. And that can be pretty costly because you're probably paying a monthly fee between $89 to $299. And I've heard that there are others that pay even more. So right now, the top platforms that are out there, InfluencerSoft, that's the one that I use. Um, I joined InfluencerSoft at the ground starting opportunity, which is still available right now, by the way, and it's going to come to a close soon, where you can get everything that it offers. So funnels, um, it offers funnels, uh, membership, affiliate, website, all of those things can be multiple campaigns, email, social media. Um, and they're adding more stuff every, seems like every single month, they're giving us new, uh, basically one stop shop where you just go into one site and it does everything for you. One of the things they're working on now is trying to make sure that all of the social media platforms, you can do the post within the system and then it automatically goes to your page for you at a specific day on a specific, at a specific time and you just do it all in one location. And that's the reason why I signed up. I'm like, I don't have to go to the face, I can do it all, just sit down for an hour and you know, go into my computer, go into one particular location, do it all in there and then I'm done. So email, um, landing pages, uh, uh, upsell pages, you know, all of it, everything in one place. And InfluencerSoft does it, InfusionSoft has been around a whole lot longer, but they don't have a lot of, they have like probably 90% of everything that you need, but then there's still a few things that they don't have. So for example, I don't think unless it's changed, which is very possible, they didn't at the time that I was um, interested in them and I've talked to several people who've used it, they didn't have a membership component at the time. You had to go through a different source to um, use in addition to what Inf um, Infusionsoft had. I'm sure that's probably changed by now because that was probably about two and a half years ago. And then there's Kartra. Kartra is great if you're just starting out. It's about $89 a month. If you're really wanting to have professionally looking um, landing pages and opt-in pages that will promote and um, allow you to give your resources, so your eBooks, or any other products that you have, Kartra works really well. It just, it didn't have a whole lot of other components that I wanted to use. So I was with them for a good year. I did like it. It's, it's the, the learning curve on it, I think is low. The pages were beautiful, but the, the creativity of the pages was pretty limited, meaning you, you can only do it the way they want you to do it. You didn't have the ability to really be flexible. Whereas InfluencerSoft and Infusionsoft gives you a lot more flexibility. Another platform, if you're just starting out, that actually I think is really good, I actually like the way it's set up and the way it looks, is Teachable. Um, typically, like this particular course, if I, if I wanted to, I could put this whole entire course on my Teachable program, and then I could promote that link in other pl pl platforms because it delivers the content in a drip format meaning it comes out at a certain day at a certain time and it's set up really nicely. It, it, I think they did a beautiful job in the way they designed it, but that's all that it does is it delivers online courses. So um, for the longest time I used that one and now I'm shifting over to InfluencerSoft hoping it will look the same. So far it's not as pretty, InfluencerSoft is not as pretty as Teachable, but it works at the same level. Another platform is Kajabi. Um, I haven't used Kajabi, but it's very well known. And then ClickFunnels. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of a, a plug here, I guess, for InfluencerSoft because the, the founder and the owners, um, I know them personally, and um, they are teaching us what it really means to create a profitable digital marketing platform and how to use funnels as a part of that platform. And it has been fascinating. I have learned so much 
from understanding the power of having funnels for your business. And the reason why, particularly for those of you who are coaches, you want to have funnels in your business because it automates everything. It is this beautiful, easy step-by-step -step process of actually having your business be seen, heard, celebrated, and actually making a profit. And if you understand how to do the marketing sales component, in addition to creating the funnel process to it, whether it's very simple to very complex, meaning the step-by-step -step process that you nurture a client from prospect to customer to client to referral, um, to possibly an affiliate is beautiful. And now that I can see that and I understand that, I am truly excited and I'm in a, in a, in a mad rush trying to get some of this stuff done so that I can start promoting them at the level that I want. Now, I have to admit, InfluencerSoft is a new platform, so it still has a few little kinks here and there, and they're working on it as fast as they possibly can because they're now in the beta stage where they're trying to test this out with as many people as possible so they can see you know, what else can we add as a part of this particular process that will help your business grow. So today, or not today, uh, this week, we just had a, a masterclass training on digital marketing and they basically said, we have just created, we're gonna finalize it, we're testing it with an actual two high level, successful, well-known clients right now. Um, but they're going to share a seven figure funnel. Like this particular funnel, if you do it the way we tell you, no matter what industry you're in, no matter what product you're um, uh, using, will create seven figures for your business. They, uh, the founders and the different team members have been a part of this for years and they're working with, I can't say the names of, of the top leaders, but if I said the names, you'd go, oh my gosh, you would know who they were. They're very, very well known. And they're building out their system and so far, it sounds like it's been working. And so they talked to the person who they created this for. And that person said, absolutely, once it's done, feel free to share it with every person who's purchased the influencer soft. So you know, I have it earmarked in my website that yes, or in my membership or in my account, that yes, when this thing drops, put it on my account, I want it. <laughs> I want that whole entire thing. And they showed it to us from behind the scenes. And it was like, Oh, it was magnificent. And I share that with you because um, I think for a lot of us as coaches, uh, you're hearing out there, you don't have to have funnels, you don't have to have Facebook ads, you can do this all naturally. But then I want you to pay attention if you're hearing that from the coach, pay attention to the coach who's saying it because nine times out of 10, the reason why they're saying this is they've already built their audience, they've built their community, they have a really large email list, they've already got the momentum so they don't have to do those things anymore. But if you're just starting out, you need to be as clear about what are the variance, various opportunities or uh, strategies that are out there that I can use to get me to the next level. And as much as I am strategic, going through this particular training process with um, InfluencerSoft has helped me see how I had missing pieces to not only my business, but even to my courses. And so these platforms can powerfully help you get your brand, your message in your business to a whole nother level, which is why they have a high profitability. Implementation is high, meaning it takes a lot because if you're going to be doing automation or click funnels, you have got to be so profoundly clear on exactly what you're offering and how you're going to be offering it and when you're going to be offering it and the different, uh, the email list, the, the playbacks, the, the upsells, all of that needs to be clearly defined. And there are a lot of little niggly bits throughout the whole entire process so that when you go to the platform, you can hit the ground running. But if you buy the platform, which is what I did, I ended up buying InfluencerSoft at the very beginning and I didn't touch it for six months because it was there was so much to the software that I didn't have enough in place to actually utilize it the way I'm able to utilize it now. Now that I've kind of gone through the training, I can say, okay, I can see where I've missed some stuff. Let's start creating it. Let's go test it. Oh, oh my gosh, that worked. I love the way that worked. It looks fantastic. It looks like I paid thousands and thousands of dollars for people to do this stuff for me. 
I did it on my own. I'm now understanding. And now I'm getting a, a deeper understanding of the digital aspect of how to really market this. And I'm understanding marketing and sales at a whole new level. And now I can combine those two together for my next big launch that's coming out in August. And I'm working between now and then to make that happen. And, and it's going to be beautiful if we can use the system the way it should work and it should be really available for me. So I'm saying all this to you so that you, if you're new or if you are in coaching, you could take a step back and look at here right now, because the truth be told, as much as we, we are hearing that we're getting back to quote unquote normal, whatever that really means, and they're going to probably around the end of June or July, allow more of us to get back out to the world. If there's ever a time to start getting yourself as grounded as you possibly can and getting some of your courses designed so that you can start promoting them, now is the time to do them. In addition to getting ready for, quote unquote, those live events just as well. And uh, do I want to go there? I'll leave that alone because that's too rich of a conversation that I can't really have right now. Okay, and then um, the leveraging implementation takes time and then the leveraging is very powerful, like I said before. And then the last thing, I know we're coming down to the end. I'm almost done here. So here we go. And then the last model is books and products. I think you already understand. I'm not gonna even go into all the details of it, but basically offering the benefit of having books and products like we talked about before is it is numerous. I mean, I could probably write several, several pages and here's basically what I wrote that I want you to pay attention to. One, it gives you a larger audience reach, which um, uh, supports you in having a greater impact. It increases your perceived expertise. It allows you to create a higher profitability during unprofitable times. So when everyone's struggling right now, if you had products, if you had books, if you had online programs, you could have been offering this right now and making some money to move forward, myself included, by the way. Um, Supporting it supports the scaling of your business. It increases your client base. Again, it helps you build your audience, your community, and your email list. Um, having products and books helps build trust of your brand, your message, and your business. It continues to position you as an expert and increases your ability to leverage and create joint venture opportunities with others. And then affiliate marketing. Maybe I'll just do another program because we're at the end of time and I don't want to take up more of your time here. But that's it for that. Hopefully that makes a whole lot of sense. So with that being said, are there any comments or any questions that you have in regards to monetizing? Um, before I finish, I do want to say if you're going to be creating your six figure, let's say $250,000 or more kind of business, um, I encourage you to have at least three of those models operating in your business at all times. You can have others kind of coming in and out, like you can have retreats coming in and out, but there's some other things in there you should probably be doing consistently. So I do VIP intensives all the time, I, and I typically do small group programs all the time. Those are my constants. And then my other constant is products and books, more books than products, but now I realize I've got a lot of products that I haven't been promoting. And so now we're actually creating the website to make that happen. Okay, so with that being said, are there any comments or questions to what I've just shared with you today? None? Really? Oh, okay. sorry, hi, hi, hi. Hi. I'm not sure I have questions. There's just a lot of stuff you mentioned. Um, I just wanted to say hi. I was driving, so that's why I kind of was quiet. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. Be safe while you're driving too. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, I I think I think um, I really I really wanted to see you today, and I couldn't um, pay attention the way it should have been. I was because I was driving. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> hi. Thank you. Glad you did. <laughs> okay. So if if no if there are no other questions or comments then um, here's what I'd like to offer you guys. Now, I have to admit, um, it's been so busy over the past couple of days that we didn't finish the actual opportunity that I have for you. 
what I want to do is offer a 60 day business accelerator group accountability group program, which basically means everything that you've learned in this particular masterclass in this particular accountability group, I will work with each and every one of you to go through the details of this particular process so that you can create the business that you want. So if you're saying, I need someone to help me organize my business from the mission statement down to the digital product down to the funnel, that whole entire process, it, it, we, if, if you just want to be in a kind of like an accountability group in a masterclass and we're walking through each piece every single week, so that at least you know how to write it and get some feedback on whether or not you're on the right track and it makes sense and it, it really is going to position you as an expert in your brand. That's what this group's about. For those of you who are saying, I want a little bit more hand-holding opportunities, I really want that one-on-one, -on -one. not in, in addition to working in a group and we're all kind of masterminding and working together in that, but also getting my own individual time with Anita, then I have that opportunity connected to so each package is available. So right now, because of what's happening, if you were to say, I need, I really need your help in organizing and really developing my business, I would say, okay, I have my Build Your, your Global Finpire uh, coaching package. It's a six-month package. It's very detailed. And by the time we finish it all, you will have not only your business done, but you may even have your outline and possibly your manuscript. I've only had one person who took me up on it. I'm done for their book and then we worked on getting their book done and that would cost you $6,500 because there's so much details of moving from one step to the other and we're meeting every single week and we're really masterminding and we're building out your whole entire business for one year and beyond and I'm very happy to say I've worked with several women in there and they all are doing exceptionally well right now. My, my most favorite client that I worked with, her name was Tina. And she had her own private practice and she also had her own business. And so she needed some help in actually taking her housing business to a whole nother level. So I helped her with her strategic plan in that. And because she was able to get it very detailed, she used it as a part of applying for a grant and she ended up getting a hundred thousand dollar grant. And so she said, it wouldn't have happened if I didn't have the strategic plan in place. And when I was able to, because you asked me all these different kinds of questions, it helped me really think about all the little details that I needed to think about so that I can answer this particular um, grant correctly and then get awarded. So that's probably my highest success on it. I've had others who've made more money because they were very clear and they, and they, were, they learned how to automate it all. So because this is a short program, I'm only offering, it's a small group program. Think of it that way. It's a small group coaching opportunity. And um, for the process, for the group itself, the 60 day process, it's only 397. And if you're deciding you want to do your one-on-one -on -one with me, then that's 697. So I will have that page uh, released soon. I will send out the link to the replay for those of you who want to watch the replay. You only have until tomorrow, then it comes down. Um, you may have gone back to the same link to see if the other videos are there. They're already removed. And after this one has been converted and this one is uploaded, day three is going to be gone. And then this will sit there until tomorrow, Friday, and then it'll be gone. And then the only way you'll be able to see all the videos is you can actually buy the whole entire program for $97 if you just want to have this as a part of your success library. I will have that available. We didn't get it done because I got distracted with some summit stuff and I wasn't able to get it completed. So we're gonna to try to complete it today so that you can actually get access to it. And um, hopefully you'll sign up and I can really support you in going to your next level and really pivoting right now so that you can have the success when we get back to living our life to the next highest level. I don't wanna say normal anymore because there is no such a thing as normal from this point forward. So with that being said, ladies, thank you so much for taking time out of being here, staying on the call, asking your questions, um, participating and letting me know um, that this worked for you. So the other thing I do wanna ask, and I'm probably gonna say this off record. So bye everybody, <laughs> thanks for being